Hey guys, this is Lana Pillow. Um, today I'm just going to go through um, what you get at level 4 when you unlock Creator Class. So basically what you have access to in the first two weapons of uh, the categories. So like the Assault Rifle, submachine Guns, what two guns you get. So that's like M4, M16. And then also it'll show you what level you need to get to in order to get to the... Uh, different attachments and different perks and equipment and then also show you what weapon level you need to get to in order to get everything and also the order of the uh, the attachments so like there you, just then you saw um, thermal is the very last one extended mags is one of the last so I don't really understand why thermal is the last attachment you get not many people will use it it's barely useless but it's something quick something you may not know um, ACOG is actually pretty uh, viable in Modern Warfare 3. Like, I never used to like it on any red guns, like assault rifles or stuff, but now it's actually pretty useful. It's um, uh, kind of usable, if you know what I mean. Like, um, yeah, it was just really, really. Shut up. It's really. Um, stupid <laughs> in previous Modern Warfare 2's uh, in previous games like thermal on um, regular guns so like light machine guns and um, assault rifles so now it's more of a usable option um, so basically something you may want to know um, weapon level if you want to le level up and you can't get headshots a quicker way to do it is keep on changing attachments proficiencies don't do stuff all towards your weapon level it'll do stuff towards your like leveling up character guy like you know but it won't uh, changing your proficiency won't change your uh, won't increase your weapon level the thing that changes your weapon level is changing attachments uh, or there's multiple things there's kills headshots and then changing your attachments so even though when you unlock the um, red dot side that's may that may be what you only will use. That's the only thing you'll need. But if you want that sexy gold camo and be a pimp, um, you'll need to change attachments. So, you know, get 40 kills while looking through uh, the red dot site, uh, 20 kills with suppressor, um, and all that will help you level up your weapon level. Just showing off the different levels you need to get to in order to get everything so you know uh, all the launches are plus 40 levels so more than halfway past the game you'll need to um, get you'll get them and also uh, tactical insertion is on the tactical thing but you get it at level like 50 something uh, yeah Oh, 60. Nice. So, yep, the first two perks, Recon and Hand. I'll probably use Slide of Hand, but a good thing to note about Recon is um, any kind of uh, lethal or tactical that causes the debris is, um, it'll cause them to show up on the radar as advanced UAV for like three seconds or something so if you throw a flashbang in a room it'll actually show them on the radar what, what corner they're sitting what direction they're facing so if they're like in their one corner facing the opposite doorway something good uh, quick draw and blast shield they both are viable marksman seems incredibly pointless unless you're using a sniper and stalk is probably the first one everyone will use um, so basically the uh, videos coming to a close in like a minute listen a minute um, so basically death streaks are back that's a disappointment um, yeah so that's about it guys um, be sure to leave a like rating and um, subscribe for more Modern Warfare 3 content thanks see ya